the metric system is a way of measuring things. So with length, the metric measurements are millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. A stamp would be measured in millimetres. There are 10 millimetres in a centimetre. We'd measure a dollhouse in centimetres. There are 100 centimetres in a metre. We would measure a house in metres. And there are 1,000 metres in a kilometre. We would measure an incredibly tall skyscraper in kilometres. Stop it! Metric measurements are also used for weight when we talk about grams and kilograms. And millilitres and litres are used for volume. Ah! Phew! That was lucky. Are you alright? You're looking a bit confused. Just trying to figure out how many tiles I'm going to need for this wall, mate. Well, I'm sure we can work it out. It helps if we use squares. If this measures one unit, and this measures one unit, then that's one times one equals one. So we have one square. Let's try another one. If this measures five units, and this measures two, then that's five times two equals ten. So we have ten squares. We can do that for any shape we want to measure, where all angles are right angles. Your wall measures 6 units across and 4 units high. So if we times 6 by 4, it will tell us how many squares we need. 6 times 4 equals 24. 24 tiles! Wow! That was quick! You two are making food now. Ah, she wants to have the spaghetti. Well, if you measure this cuboid up to find out her volume, we can figure out just how much food she needs to be full up. So she's 9 centimetres high, 6 centimetres wide and 10 centimetres deep. Now that we know the height, width and depth of the cuboid, we can work out her volume. All we need to do is multiply the height by the width by the depth. 9 times 6 equals 54 times this by 10 and you get 540. So the volume of our cuboid is 540 cubic centimetres. Good, we know just how much food it will take to fill her up. Now all that's left is the dessert. Brain, this is cubic. Oh, brain. Cubic has sides and length of one centimetre, meaning that she has a volume of one cubic centimetre. Oh look, here come her friends. When Cubic and her friends join together, they get an all new volume. Uh, brain. Cubic now has three one centimetre cubes in height, width and depth. We can multiply the measurement of Cubic's height, width and depth to give us the new volume. 27 cubic centimetres. We can use the same process to figure out Cubic's volume, no matter how big she gets. It's dry. Brain! Oh, isn't it great to make new friends, Brain? <laughs> <laughs>